Hello comrades and cat girls. This is my first ever YouTube video and I'm going to be going through my Hello sketchbook and I'm very excited and very nervous. The camera will be shaky and I will have zero actual good artistic input. But let's look at some pretty pictures together. Um, I decorated my cover with Posca markers. He's not a sad squid, but I am a sad squid. I had to skip the first page because I wrote down my address and I didn't cover it. Here I wrote down some goals. All of this is done in pencil. I tried to draw a child and I obviously failed. I was going to tell you what the goals are, but then I decided, no, I don't want to do that. Here we have some concepts that I was working on, some anatomy. Those are some thumbnails for a larger painting that I did and didn't like, so I painted over it, trying to figure out what the heck a chicken looks like. This is some watercolor. Watercolor doesn't really do well in Elo sketchbooks, at least in my experience. And then we have a drawing that I went over with Postcas because I hated it. It still kind of bleeds through, but it's fine. I really like the energy of this drawing. I could never replicate this energy, but this energy, the vibe was immaculate. Uh, this is done in ink and color pencil. Just a little sketch. I wrote down some things that I had to do. I try to treat my sketchbook like a notepad and a sketchbook. Um, I really like the way this one came out. This is from a reference photo. This is not from my own brain, but I like it nonetheless. I'm trying to recapture the energy of that other sketch, trying out some color palettes. I don't know, I, just, I feel like I lost something. I feel like sometimes when you do art, you just make one good thing. Though this redraw, not bad. I, I do like the addition of the hands. But, I don't know. It just doesn't feel. Try and paragraph, probably about my goals and my art. Um, you know what they say, your left page looks like that, so your right page can look like this. Um, I do like the hands in this picture. I like the way the deco marker settled into the Posca markers and how there was like a bit of bleed. Um, but yeah, I just don't really think this one was a success. The face is kind of odd and weird. This one's just scribbles, practicing eyes, practicing the face, trying to get away from just doing the same expression. Color pencils. I really like that hand. That's a pothos plant that my roommate has. My precious sweet boy. My little trash can dude. I just want to beep him on the nose. I used him to cover up some truly atrocious accidents that happened in the background. A little squid guy. He's small. He's squid. He guy. I had a rudimentary sketch and then the final painting. I covered it up with just some highlighter? Question mark. Um, this painting I really like. I just feel it's just not done. Like one side clearly looks better than the other side. I'll let you decide which side is that. Those things I'm pointing to are hands. Yeah, they're supposed to be hands. You see how they don't read as hands? Yeah. I also think I probably should have used tape, but I just couldn't be asked to get tape out. Clean lines really do make a painting sometimes page is a little concept art for our storybook that I'm working on with my roommate. Moving on, or I guess not moving on, psych, moving on. Uh, we have some sketching. I did with that pen. It's unbranded, but I got it from Target. Um, that's supposed to be a drawing of ContraPoints because I watch her videos a lot when I draw. It doesn't look like her. My bad. Uh, this painting came out very okay. It is very mediocre. It's not interesting, but I do like the colors. I need to practice noses. Speaking of practicing anatomy, these are just some contour, blind contours, um, and then some fashion. I really like to pull from models. This is me trying to figure out a website. I thought that would be a cute little square business cards. I like square business cards. It's not everyone's alley, but I like square business cards. But yeah, it's just it's mostly notes, nothing really interesting. I'm just trying to organize some thoughts for a website. You really got to have a website in this biz. But uh, this is done with ink. I like this little face. You know, she just has a lot of expression. She's just really the way that I feel on the inside. This painting I really like. I just forgot to 
paint her neck in, which I think is an interesting thing for me to forget. Just kind of forgot the whole neck. Don't know how that happened. I also wish I had used the warm colors towards the center and the cold colors out instead of the opposite, which is what I did. But you know, you gotta, you gotta crack some eggs to make an egg. I, I, covering up some sketches. I really like that eye. I always just cut things out and cover stuff I don't like. I don't like looking at things that I hate. Um, purple thing, just hatched highlighter. Uh, another sketch page, really messy. I think sketches are meant to be messy, but I just I like to have one good thing on the page each time. And so that one little profile looks good, and obviously the little strawberry shortcake looks good. So, oh, and this is the worst spread in the sketchbook. It I don't know what a goldfish looks like. I love goldfish. I watch videos about goldfish, but yet I don't know how to make a goldfish look like a goldfish. And then it's not like you can just look up how to draw a goldfish. These I really like. I had bought new color pencils, so I was like trying to, you know, test them out. I really like the color palettes. I really like the little profile. Her very interesting, quirky nose. Um, yeah, the anatomy's not good. The hand. I'm really bad at putting hands in motion, but you know, I love this little blue and red lady. She has good energy. I might paint her. Uh, the sketchbook starts to get kind of empty here. I'm just doing thumbnails for a larger painting that I really want to work on. I didn't end up going with a lot of these ideas. A butterfly just didn't work the way I wanted to in sketch, so I'm not sure it'll work in a painting, but she comes up a lot, the little hooded girl. Just because I like, I don't know, I like the idea. I like the butterfly on the face thing. I just need to practice butterflies. They have an interesting paper-like perspective. really like this one. I don't know where this idea came from, but I like it. I like the colors. I like how it came out. I did this when I was in like the most peaceful farm ever. Um, willow tree that I was looking at. Just experimenting. More couples. And some dogs. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this one. It's just pretty using color pencils. Color pencils and watercolors are a great travel set just because you can get a lot of colors out of it. She came out bad, but I like drawing old people. I'm not good at drawing old people, but I like drawing old people, and I feel like that's important and valid. Um, some more goals. Here's when I started um, Inktober or Badtober. I started flesh.pngs on Instagram's Badtober. The prompt was fire and toilet, and she's hungover. This is the second prompt, which I don't remember what it is. I obviously did not vibe with the prompt, but the second one is leftovers, so I did a cute little bento box, and I'm really proud of this one, even though I kind of ripped the paper. Um, you can see how when I don't vibe with the prompt, the art comes out very differently, and it's just because I don't like to do things that I don't want to do, and it really reflects on the quality of the art. But the bento one is so cute and immaculate, I mean, I even got tape out to make the edges um, crisp, and the other one is just me trying to get through it. Anatomy practice, um, you know, just sketches, lineofaction.com. Uh, this one is reflective. You can't really tell, but it's reflective, and I was supposed to go over the Japanese art style where you like put things together with gold paste, except I had silver, because I thought silver would look better with pink, and I don't know. I really like this one. I'm really starting to try to make things look neat at this point in my sketchbook. I don't know if I'm really succeeding, because I don't take out a ruler or nothing, but I don't know. I like this one. I vibe with this one a lot. More face practice. This is, I think I pulled these out of the hundred heads and then I did some thumbnails. I do a lot of thumbnails in my sketchbook. It's very messy. I don't believe in neat sketchbooks. I believe in messy. These should be your worst things in your sketchbook. Um, but yeah, I do like those heads. And then the bat. Um, I think the prompt was just bat. And I try to make it look like a cave. I think I just used a brush pen and pink watercolor. Because I can't just do black and white. I, I, I need color. Now this one. This one is one of those things where it's a good idea, but I just, I'm not at the level where I can execute it well. I still think this idea would be adorable of like a really cute kawaii anime schoolgirl, but like it's just dead ass a skeleton. I think when I get better at using Posca's, or if I try in a different medium probably, I could get this idea down and it would be really good. Uh, vegetable 
and lives that I've taken. These are the two prompts. Um, post goes and ink for the first one, watercolor and ink for the second one. I think this was kind of a boring spread, but I do like every little individual part except for the yellow one. She can go choke and die. Do not like that. But I do like, you know, how neat it is. was fan art. Um, I tried to draw Princess Bubblegum in a realistic fashion. I hated it, scrapped it, so I just went back to what I know and I drew Garnet as a plant mom because I think Garnet would love plants and I think she'd be a great plant lesbian. Um, more thumbnails in the back. It's, it's full of thumbnails. I should stop announcing it. You already know what I'm talking about. I like that little guy. I think I drew him because I, I don't know why, but I like him. I, I vibe with him. I think he's got good little energy. I think he'd be a great like video game character. Uh, this prompt was Sleeping Beauty and Cake? I don't know. Uh, I have, have abandoned the prompts almost entirely at this point. Um, I think Flesh also gave up, so I think it's fine. I'm valid. Um, the colors got muddy here, but gouache surprisingly works well on this paper. Watercolor doesn't, but gouache looks surprisingly well. That's a very vibrant color, even if I kind of got it muddy. Um, this is a gouache study. I think I found this picture on the internet and I just, you know, was trying to get the human body down for a painting that I wanted to do. It didn't end up being in this composition, but yeah, I also really enjoy how color splashes look. I usually separate them from my sketchbook, but I think in this case that color palette slaps and I will be returning to it. Yeah, I don't know why I keep pointing at this one. I feel like I don't have that much to say. But I did when I recorded it, so... My bad. It's a color study that I did from an artist that I follow on Instagram. I will put her in the description and I will try to put her name up if I can figure out how. But I just really enjoy the way that she uses colors, which is why I did a study trying to figure out why she uses colors the way that she does. And this is just a recurring of that little dude. Like again, I like him, I vibe with him. Um, I actually really like this page. It's messy and it's not cute, but I, I enjoy that one little portrait that I did. Uh, on the next page, there is oil pastels. And it was my first time using oil pastels in like a year. It's very smudgy, not very clean, not very good. But I think this really kicked off my love of oil pastels. I reinvigorated what I liked about oil pastels when I was like a teenager. Um, and so I used them again. And this is also sort of a prompt. The prompt was bull, but I was just trying to figure out how to draw a person in oil pastels. Because changing mediums really like deletes all my knowledge of how to draw someone. You can tell by the jawline. Um, me just trying to figure out people. There's no more Bad Tober. I've abandoned it completely here. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out colors. I voted, and I used the sticker to cover up the worst face I've ever drawn. Uh, and then the other side is just me planning my birthday party frog wizard this is my favorite favorite thing in the entire sketchbook it also was the favorite thing of my instagram page everyone loves a good frog wizard he is magical he is the best he is made out of oil pastels and i love him and i would die for him but he would never ask me to die for him because he's a good frog wizard he would simply necromance me back to life more oil pastels trying to figure out how to draw I have to like relearn how to do things in this medium, which is really annoying. But you know, um, one of these came out better than the other very clearly. Um, noses, straightforward. This is from a movie that I've never seen. Came out really bad, but who cares? This idea was just floating in my brain. That's why it's here. Maybe a painting, maybe not. I just like the colors. Small hand gang. I always draw hands too small when they're actually in a portrait, but I really do enjoy the color palette. I like her vibe. She's very peaceful, very earth goddess. Um, next to her is like a Frida Kahlo-esque inspired portrait. Like if she was like a modern human on alt TikTok, I feel like that's what Frida would look like. Um, Eye bags for days. Um, I forgot to t film the page flip, I guess. 
these angry eyes are the best. I love these angry eyes. I think they would look great on everything. Um, I'm really starting to figure out how to use oil pastels at this point in my sketchbook. I'm really starting to get used to blending the colors together and using them to create art, for lack of a better word. Uh, I'm using little flaps because it, it just oil pastel is very messy and the fixative I bought doesn't really work that well. Um, but yeah, these are, I like these, they're cute. I really like the blue one. Her lips came out fantastic, in my opinion. Um, the energy's good. I wish I was better at backgrounds, and I wish they weren't just, like, floating into the nothingness, but, you know, you do what you do. Moving on. I just used notebook paper here. I think that's what I had on hand. This is a self-portrait. It doesn't look like me, according to my friends. Um, the nose, I think, is probably why it doesn't look like me. And my friend said that I misses my eye sparkle, which is an amazing thing to say to someone. I have never been complimented in such a way. Um, this, mwah, I love this. I love this. I love the eyes. I love the emotion. I love the pathos, the ethos, the stanos, the thanos. I just love the energy here. I think that orange one is going to be a painting soon. I just, mm. Mm -mm -mm. It looks so good. The eyes just convey the exact emotion I was going for, and the lips are impeccable. Probably one of my favorite parts of my sketchbook. Um, here I was just doing an eye study. An eye study, but then it came out really nice, and like the colors ended up working really well together. And I, I call it like running through the five stages of grief. But I don't know. It didn't mean to be like a finished thing. It was just supposed to be like a little sketch. But it ended up coming really nice. So I like didn't draw anything else here. So and then I got pressure to like try doing like a better portrait. Um, using trying to use human skin tones and oil pastels is basically futile. So I'm just you know throwing that out. I made them purple. I think it works well. More frogs. I draw a lot of frogs. I just they do well on Instagram and they're fun for me to draw. Um. He's a frog on a strawberry. Uh, faces. I like these faces. They count good. I like this color palette. I redid the lips because I'm just obsessed with them. But yeah. The little scribbles are so I can color test like backgrounds for this painting. This is more website stuff, so don't worry about that. But um, this, my magnum opus. I have never used oil pastels this good. She looks so good. Is her anatomy good? No. But is the vibe good? Yes. Does she look heartbroken? Absolutely. And that's what I wanted her to look like. And then right after, we have this monstrosity. This did not turn out the way that I wanted it to, but you have to break a few eggs. You have to have a few ugly things in your sketchbook in order to have good things in your sketchbook. And I believe that 100%. Me redoing the girl with the oil pastels. She came out better. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just need a more limited color palette. Like, I went from this, which is using a thousand colors, to this, which is using four colors. And I this one has a better vibe. The little dark blue purple face girl. She has a better vibe. Uh, anatomy practice. I cover up bad stuff with the oil pastels. It works really well. I really like this red girl. She's got sass and pizzazz. The green one is actually the one that ended up being the bigger painting. Which, by the time this video comes out, you can check it out on my Instagram. Um... More anatomy, more anatomy. I only draw women. I think men, you know, men, boys, fellas, you're cool. I just don't think you guys, I don't think your anatomy is cool enough for me to draw. Just curves are where it's at. This is just practice, but I didn't like how black and white it was, so I threw in some color, but yeah, not, not the worst. Not the worst anatomy study I've done, facial anatomy. And that's it. That's the end. At the end, I just wrote, you know, how I felt, goals, stuff like that. But, yeah, I don't have a lot to say. A little sketchbooks come in this pocket, and these are some stickers that I made. Um, and that's it. That's my sketchbook. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for vibing with me. I hope to see you again soon.